What is up guys, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a ton of money on my endgame main farm in Stardew Valley, but also I've set myself a challenge as well. I am currently in year 36 on this farm. My first ever Stardew Valley save file, my first ever farm that I ever created. I'm approaching the 37th year and as you can see, my current funds are 41 million and my total earnings are 109 million. That is how much I have made on this farm. A lot of that is from crazy videos that I've made in the past and projects, but I want to set myself a challenge and show you guys how I make money as well in the process. I want to try and earn 250 million by year 40. Before we get to year 40 on this farm, I want 250 million total earnings. So I have got to try my hardest every day in this now to make as much money as possible. I have got a few productions and setups that I use to make a lot of money. So I'm going to show you what they are and uh, you can see yourself how much money I make in, you know, a day or a season. Just read all your mail. Oh my god, the amount of gifts that you get and money when you are friends with everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Obviously, I've not checked these in a long time as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. We've got wood, pizza, gold bar, bombs, cookies. Holy smokes. Finally, <laughs> we have no mail. <laughs> oh, that's probably about two years worth of mail there. It's just something I never check now. Okay, so that is that. So let me show you around on some of my uh, my money-making ways here. So this shed here is something I want to work on and uh, try and expand throughout this little idea that I've got and this is full of garden pots. I've still got a few more to craft to fill out because this is an upgraded shed but this can be used to put lots of crops in here. Sadly you can't put the big ones in there like star fruit and ancient fruit but we are going to use this um, a bit later on. Now we do also have the slime hutch here which I did a video on. This is the first time I ever used it and uh, I filled it out with lots of tiger slimes and obviously we can use all of these slime eggs get all of the slime and uh, this is a good way of making lots of money as well in the game actually so we can this is one method that we can do here i have got the slime charmer ring as well so they aren't hurting me go into the slime press i believe you just put the slime in here and then they will give you eggs and you can sell them Eggs, slime eggs are quite worth a lot of money. Uh, obviously, you can hatch them as well, but we've got a lot of tiger slimes in here because these are good as well if you want to breed them. So we can slay them, and there's a chance of dropping some awesome loot. Just, you know, come back in a few days, let them breed. But, you know, drop, drop some cool items. So that is one method that I can do on this farm to make money. It is a new thing that I did. Obviously, we've got the crop field, so lots of ancient fruit is going to be in here, and I'll show you what I do with that very soon. But we've got fish ponds as well. I feel like we might. We've got four so far, and obviously lava eels here are the best. So maybe we can do all of these lava eels, or maybe we could do, like, sturgeon. Sturgeon eggs, you can get a uh, caviar, obviously. Maybe that's something we could do as well. It is a good way of making money. But we've got my greenhouse, which is currently filled with ancient fruit. Now, this is obviously one of the main ways to make money. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a ton of ancient fruit, guys. Loads. Because this is what I do. You know, just come in here every couple of days or whatever, harvest lots of these, and they stay there all year round. You can even grow these outside uh, in spring, summer, and fall, which sometimes I do in the fields, a bit more space, but obviously you can't do that in winter, which we are approaching soon, so sadly we can't really do much farming outside until next year. So the greenhouse is going to have to do. I wish we could upgrade the greenhouse and make it bigger. That would be a cool feature in the next update. Let us be able to upgrade this. Please, Robin, give us a bigger greenhouse. So I'll put away all the quality. We've got 517 normal. So what I'm going to do is put all these into kegs and things to make wine. As you can see, we've got a big upgraded barn here. But before we do that, we do have a sponsor for today's video. I'm very excited to introduce you guys to Yahaha. It's a brand new user-generated content creation platform where you can create and publish your very own 3D multiplayer games. There is no coding needed and it is very simple to use. I jumped into the editor myself and I had a little play around and this is what I got up to. So you can choose templates for different themes and settings or of course you can go ahead and create your own from scratch. But for the video's sake I chose this nice cute little village template here 
and I decided that I wanted to add my own farm area to this adorable village. There is an asset library with millions of different assets which are stored in the cloud drive so they can be streamed real time to you so you can use them whenever needed. And another great thing is guys you can just search for whatever you want. For example here I'm going to search for chickens to go with the coop. I'm going to place one inside of that. It is so easy to place and move assets around and if you want to go crazy you can do what I did and make a giant evil dark chicken which looks epic. You can scale things to as big as you like. Once you have created your game, the best thing is you can jump into it and actually play the map. Just look at the size of this chicken. You can even publish your map easily so other players can discover your work and join to play. Guys, this is so fun. I recommend and encourage you all to check it out. Download Yahaha by clicking the link in the description to get the early access for free. So jump in yourself and see what you can create in Yahaha Studios. Let's get back to the video. I use the barn because you can hold quite a lot of kegs in here and then obviously ancient fruit wine is going to be a big money maker for us even more so if you want to age it put it in the casks age it get it to iridium quality takes a little bit of time but you're going to make a crap ton of money which i'm going to show you this is the process that uh, i've done for many years on this farm this is how i made my many millions Sadly, I don't really do too much of it now because I'm already at the point where I've got a lot of money. So this is quite exciting for me to come back in and, you know, play Stardew Valley how I used to. I'm showing you how I made money for so long. And I want to try and get 250 million earnings. This is going to be insane. What an achievement that would be. So that's one way of making money, ancient fruit wine. We've also got another barn here, which I use for jelly. But star fruit is way better to make jelly out of than uh, ancient fruit. I'd rather make the wine with ancient fruit and star fruit. So we've got a, few, a bit of jelly here as well, actually. Star fruit jelly, 65. That must be exactly how much we've got in here. So when summer comes, we need to plant some star fruit in the fields and we're going to make lots of star fruit jelly. We might actually already have a ton of star fruit at home in the fridge. But I've got another shed here, fully upgraded, and this is where I make beer. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of wheat. I mean, I could use these kegs for ancient fruit wine as well, because we've still got a lot of ancient fruit, but this is where I normally make beer, if we've not got much ancient fruit left. I could put whatever I want in here, but this has mainly been my beer production, because beer is quite valuable as well. It's quite quick too. You don't have to wait as long compared to the wine. Or if I want coffee for a speed boost, I love taking espressos like this, triple shot espresso, to get a little bit faster in the game. I love being able to move a bit quicker because we've got a lot to do. So filling out sheds with kegs and preserve jars are very, very good. It takes some time, obviously you've got to craft one at a time. Eventually you get to a point where you do fully fill it out and then your money is gonna be rolling in. We have got another shed here full of crystallariums. The last video I did, I actually needed quartz. So we do need to put the diamonds back into these crystallariums so we can start making big money. Duplicating these, this is another good way for many years that I made money, you know, filling out these and obviously this is fully upgraded as well now so this shed can hold a lot of crystallariums this took a long time to fill out this is something that you need to do end game takes a bit of time but when all these diamonds come in oh my god it is magic good money there's going to be a few new things that i want to try as well to make money something i've not really done since the 1.5 update which we're going to get to very soon Okay, so I think that is all of the diamonds in. So we'll have to wait a couple of days for these to duplicate. So we will stock up, stock up on these. I don't want to sell them all yet. I also do have jades as well because they used to uh, obviously buy staircases from the desert trader, which is also very, very handy. So I do like to keep uh, those in there. Got lots of slime here. Look at all the stuff that we've got. Okay, let's move on to something else. Let me show you. Here we have got a shed full of uh, kegs again. I like to, normally I've got a lot of honey spare because I did, I, I don't think I have a lot of honey or bee houses now, but I used to. I did actually remove them, but I used to make a lot of mead with the honey that I had. And I've not made any in a while, as you can see, we've still got lots of honey. So I may as well put all of these that we've got in here. Let's make one last batch of mead. I don't think we've got any bee house. So I've got a few, but not enough to make a big production here. So I'll use this shed for the kegs, probably for the ancient fruit wine. And then we've got another shed here. Sheds honestly are insane. Um, I actually did a video on this. This was garden pots. I basically made an indoor greenhouse from a shed. So here we can grow crops all year round without having to worry. It's going to be quite good to get other crops like these. Look, we've got red cabbage here, which are quite valuable. Just more space. We've basically expanded the greenhouse. We just can't put ancient fruit in here. So it's got to be the basic crops. 
We're going to sleep because it's dark and I'm going to show you. Oh, I've got a few bee houses here, as you can see. It's not many and I think I've got a few more somewhere else as well. We do have, I used to have solar panels here, but I've moved that to somewhere else and I'm going to show you where that is. If you've not seen that video, I've made a special video for it. We may as well sell all of this stuff. Um, it's not going to make us massive amounts of money. I don't want to turn it into wine and jelly, to be honest. So just sell some random stuff that we've managed to pick up today and uh, sort out my storage before we get into the next one. I'll put some stuff away here. So I do already have some tiger slime eggs here, as you can see, and lots of slime that we can use, so maybe I'll just sell those. We do also have 13 dinosaur eggs that we can turn into dinosaur mayonnaise. Quite valuable, we could do that as well. We've got a shipping bin here, let me just sell those. So we just sold a lot of random stuff today and uh, already we made you know, a decent amount of money here, look at that. Already nearly 100k and that was just getting rid of a, a few little bits and bobs that we had. I mean, look at the tiger slime eggs, guys. They're worth 8,000 a piece. It's absolutely insane. Bit of farming, we had lots of random crops here. And the petrified slime too. 100k just on day one and we wasn't really trying there. We've still got a, a weight to gather all of our stuff. But I'm going to show you a few more ways that I make money because that is not all. So here we go. This was a new project that I did, obviously, with the when I completed this farm to 100%. You unlock the golden chickens. And these little buggers aren't just adorable, but they give you some good money. Look, we get golden eggs, guys. Now, these are quite valuable. Look how much they've been gathering. I've got the auto petter. We've got the feeder, as long as I keep putting the feed in there. So these don't need looking after. They automatically do it. But look at the golden eggs. Now, there's no point turning these into mayonnaise because you will lose value. So sell the golden eggs on their own. That is the best way. I've been gathering. I don't think I've sold any of these. Well, I probably have sold a few. Let's just double check how much I have sold for the collection. Uh, where will it be? Oh, maybe the golden egg isn't in the collection tab. That's interesting. Well, anyway, they are good to sell. So we are going to do that. I'm going to sell all of those as well. Another way I want to make money, like I said, something that I've not done just yet is I've got this barn here. I've got two ostriches. Uh, I want more. We're going to get some more because ostriches give you ostrich eggs. We've already got 31 and 4 of those. But also what I want is some mayonnaise makers. We need to get some in there because if you put an ostrich egg into a mayonnaise machine, I think it gives you 10 gold quality mayonnaise. So it's so, so um, valuable actually. We can't even get to this coop. Let's chop down some of these trees. So yeah, in this one here, we've just got, uh, I've got blue chicken, which is kind of cute. But I need these mayonnaise machines, as you can see. I'm actually going to get them out of this coop here. Probably could p fill this out with dinosaurs. Maybe that's what we could do. Get some dinosaur mayonnaise, because that's quite valuable too, compared to all of these. I've not actually got the auto petter or the auto grabber in this as well, so I have to manually do everything. So these chickens probably, yeah, they're not very happy, as you can see. My plan, actually, today, I'm going to fill this barn out with more ostriches, okay? But look, we're going to put those into here. Ostrich egg mayonnaise is going to give us some good, good money. Now, we can incubate these instead of buying them. So, I'll put one in. We need to fill out this barn with a lot of ostriches. So, we're going to have to do that. It's going to take some time. But we'll do it. We'll do it. They're happy enough. These are very new. So, we've not got the auto petter. It's on the chickens. I could do with trying to find another one of those. I would love an auto petter. Oh, my God. That would be insane. There used to be cows in there. But then I thought, you know what? Let's start getting ostriches. That's going to be something I'm going to do on this to make money. So let's think about it. We've got ostrich egg mayonnaise, which is going to give us, well, not me. It's going to give you normal mayonnaise, but it gives you 10 gold quality. So we're going to make a lot of money from that. We're going to make money from the golden eggs. We are going to make money from the diamonds in the crystallariums. We're going to make money from the ancient fruit wine. In summer next year, we're going to make star fruit jelly. That's going to be another way of making money. We can sell beer if we want to. We've got lots of fruit on the farm, but I think we should maybe go for some caviar in the fish ponds. So maybe we'll go and get some sturgeon. We've got three here. We need two maple syrup to make this population grow. So I've got to go ahead and do that. We've also got slime jacks. Uh, I want to get rid of those, I think. We should get caviar. I think that's going to be so good. We've also got some void salmon. We'll empty those pond. I mean, to be honest, we could fish them out and sell, but maybe we'll keep the one pond with the larva eels because these are populated to 10, so they should give us some good stuff every couple of days. Obviously, their row is worth quite a bit of money as well, especially if we age it. So I think we should go and get some maple syrup. And also in here, we've got the jars. Let's put this row in here. See how much it sells for. Why not? And then I've got one more thing to show you how we make big, actually two things that we can do to make lots of money that I want to show you that I'm going to do. 
This is gonna all add up and take us to 250 million before year 40, I'm, I guarantee we've got to. Shipping bin, let's get rid of some stuff here. So the golden eggs we're gonna sell, guys, straight up, sell them. And there's no point in turning them into mayonnaise because you'll lose money. Then put some stuff away. Our chests are full of things as well. I've just been storing and hoarding things for so long. Got lots of hay in this chest that I'm actually gonna put into this. We need to keep uh, the silos topped up. We've got another ostrich incubator here. I don't know where that one came from. We've actually got a gold sturgeon here as well. That's good, we can put that into the fish pond. We've only got one though. So we're gonna have to breed them a little bit or maybe go and fish. Winter's coming up soon. That might be quite good. Right, maple syrup. There's quite a lot that we need to do right now. It's busy on this farm. There's so much to do. Where's the maple syrup? I'm hoping I've got some, please. Oh yes, we do, <laughs> we've got too much. We've got, look at it, oh look at it. We've got so much. Now, back in the day, I used to make a lot of truffle oil. Truffle oil is amazing, but I've got no pigs on this farm, so we can't really do that. I've replaced them with the ostriches, obviously. Let's try that. I think the mayonnaise can be worth quite a lot of money because what are our skills on this? For farming, we've got artisan. So does mayonnaise class as an artisan good? It does, right? So we get 40% more as well. Fish pond. Okay, let's give you the two maple syrup. That should populate that. Let's put one in here on his own. And what I could do, there's three in here. So what about if I fish one up? Maybe we could do that. When it gets to four, I'll fish one up and put it into the other pond. So we're gonna do that. Let's check on the slimes and then I'm gonna go over to Ginger Island because I wanna show something else to you guys. Okay, here we go. So sadly, we didn't get any uh, of the good eggs there. We need the tiger slime eggs. But I'm pretty sure actually you don't get them from these, right? You have to kill them. We'll let them breed. Come on, breed like slimes. I think I, the, the eight the eight tag slime eggs that I sold, uh, I was actually saving up for a video. I was going to do like a, a project video with tiger slimes and try and see how much eggs we can get, but it takes so long, it's quite rare to get a drop. Obviously, if you slay these, there's a chance of getting a, a tiger slime egg. So if you go to Ginger Island, the volcano dungeon, you can find a lot of them there. But it's so rare. There's a little, there's a little baby one already. Look at that. <laughs> yes. So, got more eggs to sell. The uh, slime eggs. I need to put the hay away into the silos. Uh, let's check on them. I want to make sure the animals get automatically fed. There is 454, so yeah, they need definitely putting in there. There we go. There we go. So now that is full. And we've got a chest here that I've got some more. All the mayonnaise is done already. And look, oh, you get 10 normal. Okay. So what about if we put silver ones in here? So I'm going to do a little comparison. I'm going to sell one ostrich egg and then sell 10 mayonnaise, which it gives you, and we'll compare the price because I don't want to be losing money, but I'm pretty sure it's more valuable to turn into mayonnaise, right? Pretty sure. So I'm going to sleep and we'll go to Ginger Island tomorrow on a fresh day. Let's compare the price. Oh my God, look at those eggs. Oh, the golden eggs are making money. So 10 mayonnaise is 2,660 gold. And one egg, which obviously turns into mayonnaise, is only 600. So look how much money that gives you in return. That is brilliant. So yeah, ostrich egg mayonnaise is gonna be good. And of course, the slime eggs. We've got two purple, which is quite the, the best you can get really. Because I'm pretty sure red is not as good as, oh no, is red better than purple? I can't remember, but still look at that, good money. So another day, two days into this guys, and we're already made like, what, 200K? It's insane. This is how much money you can make on, on my farm when you're in year 36 like this. And it's not over. There's still some more that I wanna show you on how we make more money. So we may as well sell all of this mayonnaise as well. That's so crazy. So I'm gonna, with this little like mini series, I'm gonna just keep you posted all the time. You know, I'm not gonna do daily videos. I'm gonna just show you season by season how far I'm coming along. And hopefully we get closer and closer to the 250 million by year 40. So I'll just keep you posted every now and then. It'll be interesting to know. So we've got some more lava eel row here, which is good. They're still populating, not demanding anything yet. We've got, obviously, got to pet the ostriches. We've got more mayonnaise here. Okay, so the silver quality eggs give you silver mayonnaise. So this is going to be even more money. So we need gold eggs. That would, well, gold ostrich eggs is going to be so good. We've already got two in here, 16 so far. They're normal quality though, so may as well get them on. What I will do is we've also got some dinosaur eggs. And I do want to save some of these ostrich eggs to obviously breed, so we'll keep hold of a few. I think there is in the chicken coop, yeah, there's two cheeky little 
uh, mayonnaise makers. There's none in this bit here, though. Five golden eggs already. They just keep coming in. Obviously, these chickens are happy. Uh, how many have we got? We need more gold chickens in here because there's definitely not maxed out. As you can see, look at that. We've, we've not even got 12 in there. So let's keep breeding them as well. But dinosaur egg mayonnaise, I'm going to put into these little two incubators here and we'll start getting dinosaur mayonnaise. Another good thing to do. Maybe I should fill out that coop with the chickens of dinosaurs. So maybe we should incubate those. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to keep the blue chicken though. And I want an auto petter and an auto grabber. So we're going to sell all these chickens. We want dinosaurs in here. Like I said, I'm going to keep hold of Bert, <laughs> the blue chicken. And then we'll put a dinosaur egg into the incubator here and we'll try and get some dinosaurs. Uh, the rabbit can go as well and this chicken. So we're going to have 11. 11 dinosaurs. That'll be all right. I need an auto petter and an auto grabber. Here is another way I make a lot of money. This is a project that I did recently on the channel. A um, couple of, like a month or so ago. But look at this. This took quite a long time. I, I invested a lot of money into this. And I'm hoping it gives us a good return in the long run. So batteries every six or seven consecutive sunny days. We're going to get a lot of batteries. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. So that's going to be another way I'm going to make money. I always recommend if you come over here is to slay these tiger slimes. Because if you're lucky enough, guys, you might get the drop where you get a tiger slime egg. And like I said, they are very, very valuable. And I think the final way that I make a lot of money on this game, which I'm going to show you now, something I've not done in a long time, but I used to do as well. And I've got a special area for this. And we need to go to the mountains. So I am heading over to the quarry because I have got a special production for bars. I've got my Iridium ore. We've only got 150 pieces though. So I do need to do a big school cavern run soon. But over here, I've got a ton of furnaces. And yeah, oh, I've got the coal. But this is where I make Iridium bars. And obviously they sell for a lot of money. And if you go into mining, I have got metal bars that are worth 50% more. So they give us, yeah, some huge amounts of money in this game. Iridium bars are great. Obviously when you get end game and you don't really need them anymore, you've upgraded all of your tools. You've got all your sprinklers. And then you can just go ahead and start smelting the bars to sell for profit, you know? So let's get the remaining 150 ore that I've got left. Let's start smelting. We're not going to be able to get many here, but it's going to be a good start. Just showing you guys again another way that I make good money in the game. So we've got lots to mess around with. Our days are going to be filled. We're always going to be busy. Oh, look at this. We've got a red egg. Before I leave the, uh, the slime hutch, I always like to just stand in the middle, as long as you've got the slime charmer ring, and just let the slimes go crazy. You know, the more active they are, eventually they'll start to breed. I've noticed that they breed more when they're doing this. So if I just stay here for a good one hour in the game, and you see a little love art, and then your job's done. You know, they are mating, they're breeding, and then you can go and you'll have another baby. They seem to be a lot better at mating when you're stood there. It gets them all excited. So the mayonnaise is done again, of course. We've got seven left, but I'm going to use those to obviously incubate so we can get a full barn of these to improve our earnings here. We've got some cheese presses at the bottom. Going to get rid of those. That's when I used to have cows and goats for the milk. They can get put away for a rainy day or until I decide to go down that route again. The dinosaur mayonnaise is done. I'm I want to see how much this sells for because this will be a good way of making money if it's quite valuable. We've got ten. But like I said, I need to incubate those. So our round of beer is done. This is not the most valuable thing, but I have got a lot of wheat left around, so why not? Let's just turn it all into, into beer right now. We may as well use that. And when, it's, when the wheat's all gone, I can start using the kegs for something else. I need to get the ancient fruit production on the go. That's where the money's going to come. And I think I might age it as well. And I'll show you just how much Iridium quality wine sells for. So we're finally getting through all the wheat that I've been stocking up for so long. Lots of beer, we're going to sell all of that, but I'll wait for all of the wheat to get used first. Crystallariums are still on the go, this is going to take like six or seven days I believe, it takes quite a bit of time. The mead is done as well from the honey, which I'm going to put even more on. We are going to sell all of this as well. And once this honey's run out, I, like I said, I'll use these kegs for wine. Now one good thing to do if you don't want to do wine or if you've not got a big pr production of star fruit or ancient fruit, the next best thing that I recommend is, it's not a wine, it's a juice and that is pumpkin. Or pickling it in the, in the jar, pickled pumpkin and pumpkin juice are very, very valuable. So pumpkins are a great 
alternative to star fruit and ancient fruit. And also rhubarb is quite good as well. Rhubarb jelly is very valuable. So, you know, if you don't want to go down the ancient fruit, go to a go to rhubarb instead. They are two very good things, uh, pumpkin and rhubarb, that I recommend doing if you've not got a lot of ancient fruit or star fruit. Right, okay, so that's all of the honey that we've used. So we've got no more left. So whenever this is done, we're going to sell all of this mead that we've got. Look at this. We've got so much to sell, guys. You can see just where the money comes in when you've got things set up like this. My days are busy all the time. The ancient fruit wine is still going of course now where is my, my jelly one we are aging the row the larva eel that we had don't think this is going to be done just yet but we've got another one that we can start off so maybe we can use this for the fish ponds you know age all the row uh, eventually get caviar which is going to be quite good as well so i'm going to hold everything i'm not going to sell much today i'm going to keep it stocked up until you know a couple of days and i'll show you how it's getting on and let's see if we can make some big money i'll wait for the solar panels to finish as well and the ancient fruit wine Already in storage, I have 96 crystal fruit wine. This is actually quite a decent fruit to to have in winter. Crystal fruit wine is quite valuable. And obviously it's a winter fruit as well. So if you're having a slow winter and uh, you're not making much money because you can't do the farming and the crops, definitely try and produce a lot of crystal fruit wine. It's a, a very good alternative to uh, ancient fruit. Obviously it's not as big and as as valuable and profitable it does fetch still for a fair good price and i recommend doing crystal fruit wine especially if you uh, aren't as advanced in the game ah here we go so i knew i had lots of star fruit as you can see last summer i used the uh the fields with the junimos that gathered a lot of star fruit for me i wonder if they've still got some in their storage actually um, yeah, so I'm going to use a lot of this for jelly, star fruit jelly. I will sell a big batch of that. I'm going to gather everything for the next couple of days and I'm going to sell it all, guys. So let's get ready for that in a couple of days. So I do still have a lot of fairy dust left from that video that I did. If you do want to see that, make sure you go and watch it where I, I produced a ton of fairy dust, one of the most, you know, one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. Make sure you go and watch that video. It was very interesting. So I'm actually going to use a lot of this on some of the machines that we've got to speed them up a little bit. Oh my god, we've got even more ancient fruit in this chest. <laughs> it's everywhere. We have so much stuff. It's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Here are my casks in the bottom here. So this is where we're going to age a lot of the wine. So like the ancient fruit here. We'll age that, turn the quality up a little bit. The fairy dust is good because, like I said, you can sprinkle that on here. And I'm pretty sure you can speed it up a little bit. As you can see, it's already silver quality. Now it's gold. And now it's going to be iridium. That's how fast you can do it. It's absolutely magic for when you're aging your wine. Speeds it up so much quicker. So let's use the fairy dust on this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the best stuff in the game. So there is our aged uh, love eel row. We've got uh, void salmon and slime jack as well. Want to compare price, really. Quite interesting. But we've got a lot of star fruit that I want to turn into jelly which I'm going to do here, and we're going to use the fairy dust straight away for all of this. The rest of the stuff, the diamonds and the ancient fruit wine, is nearly done, so I don't want to waste it on that just yet. So I recommend fairy dust as well if you want to make massive amounts of money, because you don't have to wait. And there we go. <laughs> We've just managed to get instantly... 366 star fruit jelly, and we've still got a lot of star fruit to use, but these are a bit higher quality, but... That's just crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Beautiful. And there is our first caviar from the Sturgeon Row. And another Lava Eel Row as well. We're close to selling all this now. Oh yeah, it's battery day. Solar Panel Farm is on the go. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. I've just been farming for all of the stuff that I've mentioned. I've sold everything that I've produced in, the, in those couple of days. And uh, let me show you how much money I've made. And then also I'm going to break it down and uh, tell you exactly what things you should be aiming for if you want to make a lots of money. And I'll tell you exactly what they are and how much they are worth individually. So let's sleep. This is how much I made in a few days here. Insane. <laughs> Nearly 2 million gold. So obviously a lot of that was, I sold the crystal fruit wine that I was telling you about, which is actually, as you can see, 630, 630 for one is very good. Uh, I had six normal ancient fruit wine there, but mainly I aged a lot of it, and you can see how much it is. Uh, I'm going to break all of this down, but we had some caviar, dinosaur mayonnaise, 
uh, the mining, all of the diamonds from the crystallariums, the iridium bars as well from the, the quarry and all of the battery packs and the eggs. So that was 2 million in a couple of days plus the like 250k at the first at the start of this video here. So already we are on 44 million current funds. That's like what 4 million was on 40 or 41 when we started insane for a couple of days. So now I'm going to sell one of everything that I recommend that you should aim for to try and sell. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to break it down for you guys perfectly. So farming stuff. To start off, if you aren't a super advanced end game, I recommend doing beer and mead. So mead and beer both sell for 280 gold each. Very easy to make. Obviously, you just need honey, which you get. If you just leave it alone without putting flowers around it, honey is quite easy to produce and wheat, of course. But the next, if you want to get a bit more advanced, obviously you can go into cloth. Cloth is very valuable. One cloth is 658 gold. Obviously, I've taken into consideration my skills here. So cloth is a very good thing to do. You can get this obviously from wool, from rabbits and sheep. Super, super good product to make. And then if you want to go a little bit more advanced, you can go into ostriches, obviously, and dinosaurs. Dinosaur mayonnaise is 1,120 gold. One dinosaur egg makes one dinosaur mayonnaise, and that is quite valuable. But... 10 mayonnaise from one ostrich egg gives you 2,660 gold. So if you're going to do mayonnaise, I recommend just to do ostriches because they give you 10 mayonnaise and it's worth a lot. Golden eggs, look at this. If you get golden chickens, if you complete the game, this is like end-end game, 750 gold for one. Ancient fruit wine, of course, normal quality is 2,310 gold. So you don't even have to age it at this point, just sell a lot of that along with starfruit jelly, which is 2,170 gold. But if you want to go crazy and advanced, you can age this to double its value, basically. Ancient fruit wine, 4,620 gold for one. Some other things that you can do with the fish ponds are very good. Aged lava eel row, 1,064 gold for one, which is very, very good. Obviously, they're a bit harder to fill out with ponds and get. But sturgeons give you caviar, which is 700 gold. So that is all of the farming stuff that I recommend you aim for. What should be here as well is truffle oil. Truffle oil is super, super, super valuable. You can see I've put a, a, an iridium quality truffle in there, but basically turn it into oil and it's very valuable. Slime eggs. Slime breeding is very good. Red slimes, purple slimes, amazing. But the ones you want are tiger slimes. Battery packs, get a lightning rod, solar panels. Battery packs are worth 500 gold. Not too bad. Not super end game either. But if you go into mining stuff, diamonds for crystallariums, 974 gold for one. But iridium bars are quite good to do end game as well. And if you wanted to go crazy, go to the school cavern, farm for lots of prismatic shards obviously they sell for 2600 gold so these things these are the best ways to make money these are the things you want to produce and aim for for big 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 money and this i've got all of these on my farm other than the uh, obviously truffle oil i've not got a truffle oil production everything else here i can create and produce on my farm and uh yeah every day i'm gonna be rolling in the money so there we have it my little guide to make big money this is how i make a lot in my end game farm on year 36 here and i've set myself a challenge i'm going to try and get 250 million earnings by year 40 we're currently on 112 million i've got a lot a lot to do I'm not sure if it's possible what's that like four years three or four years we shall see but hopefully it's gave you guys a few little ideas on how to make money let me know down below how do you make a lot of money in your game is this something different i've not mentioned that i should be trying this is the method that i always go with be interesting to know how you guys make yours subscribe if you haven't if you want to see more content like this but guys i'm gonna end that one there thank you all for watching make sure you take it easy stay safe but most of all please just stay cozy